You know, every year more than 10,000 Americans suffer a spinal cord injury. For some, it means total paralysis. For others, it's all about finding treatments that can help improve their strength and their function. As Ann Hughes shows us now, an experimental rehab therapy has patients uh, breathing their way to recovery. Pretty much as soon as I wake up in the morning, I'm on the go. 27 year old Drew Durrance is all about overcoming challenges. Eight years ago, he injured his spinal cord in a dirt bike accident. And when I tried to get up, I lost feeling and movement from about chest down. Push, push, push. Therapy push, push, and Drew's push, determination push, push. have brought some of that back. Eight. Now, he's part of a unique trial. Physical therapist and biomedical engineer Dr. Randy Trumbauer is studying how oxygen deprivation can trigger molecular changes that excite or wake up the nervous system. And so, what we're hoping is that by um, intermittently stimulate, stimulating the spinal cord with this type of breathing intervention that we're actually turning up the volume on spared connections. Patients alternately breathe air with low 9% oxygen and normal 21% oxygen. We found that individuals that experienced intermittent hypoxia for one day, so 45 minutes of the exposure, actually increased on average 80%. Changes in, strength. in early trials, this oxygen deprivation therapy also helped patients use muscles they couldn't use before. If you can get just a little bit more strength where it makes it easier for you to stand up or easier for you to do something, that's just another step. Whatever it takes, Drew says he'll keep challenging himself to do more, taking control of his injury instead of letting it control him. With tonight's Health Alert, I'm Ann Hughes.